He's been part of my life 24-7. I go to work with him every day. When we're not at work, he's around the house. He's wherever I go, he's with me. Barrow and Val Kerwin both retired from SFO's K-9 unit yesterday. They should have gone home together. Instead, Kerwin was ordered to deliver Barrow to the San Bruno Pet Hospital for boarding. He's locked away. He's inside in a, in a cage. Kerwin has been on the phone nonstop trying to cut through the red tape, which didn't exist two years ago. When his then canine partner, Gilby, retired and continued living with him. Now Kerwin can't even get into the hospital to visit Barrow, who also suffers from separation anxiety. It's not something I would ever, ever wish on any dog, ever. It sounds terrible. Beth Koenig trains police canines. She worries about Barrow's physical and mental health. He could pass away with just super stress, depression, not eating. It, it can be a huge deal, absolutely. This is kind of a unique situation. Uh, I'm not aware of this uh, happening uh, like this in the past. Even the officers union is scratching its head over this. According to Kerwin, it's a standard process. The paperwork to retire together was filled out weeks ago. Verbal okays were even given, and yet the separation. So what could happen to Barrow? According to Kerwin, he could go back to a Texas Air Force base where he was born for reassignment, which a vet opposes. He could be medicated, or the two could never see each other again.